Good day YouTubers, thanks for joining me. This is video 17 in my series of videos looking at Ontario Northland models in HO. And today we're taking a look at one of the prizes in my collection, a uh, RS-10 by uh, Proto-1000. Um, I've got it on my rolling road here and uh, I wanted to go ahead and give it a, a test run first and then we'll talk a bit more about the locomotive. So, select the locomotive. 1400 and it uh, auto starts with the uh, engine running sequence there up a notch up another And a little bit of a brake squeal there as we go back down to idle. While I pull it over here to my uh, adjacent running track. Um, so yes, that, uh, that was a factory... This is a factory equipped DCC and sound model. I'll show you here an example of the original packaging. So Proto 1000 Deluxe Limited Edition. I don't know how many of these that they uh, they made. Um, I know some of the other production runs of RS-10s and RS-18s, they published quite specific production volumes, but I haven't seen one specific to Ontario Northland. In fact, it seems that Ontario Northland is missing from much of the uh, uh, marketing and promotional material I can find. So if anyone knows any more specifics out there, that would be great. I've also only seen this in the one road number, 1400, and I've only seen it in this Chevron paint scheme. So I'm assuming it was, the, the only Ontario Northland release was to this locomotive number and, uh, and paint scheme. Um, so let's, uh, let's run it up and down the track here a little bit, just so that we can review some of its running characteristics. What I've heard some others say is that um, is that these RS10s and RS18s, even though marketed as a Proto 1000 uh, product range, that the quality of the uh, the paint and detail work is more akin to Proto 2000 models, um, but that the running characteristics are more along the lines of what we saw with the uh, Proto 1000 RS2s as can be seen in the previous video. And I would agree. I think it's a, a beautiful looking locomotive. They did a very nice job on all of the detail work. Um, but uh, the running characteristics aren't wonderful. Uh, they aren't as nice as the earlier Proto 2000 GP9s. And they do run... Uh, in a very similar nature to the RS2, so I assume the uh, running mechanism is very similar. But taking a little closer look at uh, the car body and some of the details here, so nice sharp, sharp graphics, they did a really nice job. This represents unit 1400, so 1400 and 1401 
were shipped back to uh, MLW. Oh, I think sometime in the late 70s, early 80s, and they were rebuilt with 251 prime movers, and they uh, they maintained they were maintained in service with the railroad for quite a few years beyond that. And uh, unit 1400 is now preserved at the um, the railway museum in Delson, Quebec, Expo Rail. So if you're uh, ever there, you get a chance to see this locomotive itself in this beautiful paint scheme, even though it's somewhat faded. Um, so I'll just leave it there for today. A nice short video looking at a single locomotive model, but one of my favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this, and if uh, any of you subject matter subject matter experts out there uh, know any more than I do and are willing to share with me, I would be uh, uh, very interested. Thank you again.